Hello everyone, this is Jim from Model Train Technology and I'd like to share with you our new LED scene controller too. Uh, this is a very exciting product and what this is is a combination of DCC decoder, uh, LED scene controller, and it fully supports all of the Woodland Scenic products. So I'm going to give you a run through on how it works. There are 16 ports around. There are two ways to power it. There's the white plug that's used by Woodland Scenic, and then there's a barrel connector, and we'll show you that one, how that works in a minute. All you do is plug it in. I have a power supply right here, and I'm going to turn the power switch on. And what you'll see is in a second, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 will show up. And <clears throat> that will tell you that the system is running. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our little uh, test LEDs, and I'm going to just plug it in, and there it goes. You can see it blinking. Now, to program, this little device has over 100 animations built into it. So it has the power supply to support over 30 LEDs. It has over 100 special effects that you can program on each and every one of the pins. In addition to that, every single pin can be individually controlled for brightness. And so we'll show you how that works. Uh, the special effects that are available are flicker, blink, beacon, fading, uh, random, all the lights going on randomly. We have a chase and racing scene, alternate flashing, TV simulation, Mars effect, arc welding, and lightning. All of that built into one device. This is $120. It comes with a mounting bracket, and so you can mount it anywhere in the layout. There are friction fingers that will hold it in place, and uh, it will use the standard 12 volt, which is what Woodland Scenics are, 12 volt LEDs, and simultaneously, this is a 3.3 volt, it will also work with 3.3 volt LEDs, and you can individually adjust every single pin. And I'll show you how simple it is to program. So right now, this light is blinking. Let's change it to a rotating beacon, which will mean it fades up, flashes, and then fades down. Put it into keypad mode. I'm holding this button for a second. On the left hand side is the pin number. So one, two, three. And it goes on to show us that that's the pin that we're working with. And on the right hand side, there's a two digit uh, space. The number eight is showing. Uh, that goes up to 99. So any number you put in here will create a different effect on the light. Uh, I know that three, uh, sorry, four is rotating beacon. I save that. The lights flash, and then I take it out of keypad mode, and you'll see that now the, the light will be rotating beacon, and so forth for all of the different pins. Uh, to adjust the brightness, we put it back into keypad mode. We'll dial up to pin 3, and then on the right-hand side, this button, we push once, and you'll see the decibel points. That means that this is now can be adjusted for brightness. It's at 20% brightness. We just hold the up key. And we can scroll th quickly through, let's say, to 50, save it, and now that pin is at 50% uh, brightness, okay? So that's uh, the controller. I have another one here, and I'll show you. I have a different power supply, and this power supply you can get on our website. You can buy it as part of the kit, and this goes into the barrel connector on the, on the uh, left-hand side. And what we're going to do is just turn that on, and the same sequence of one, two, three, four tells us it's all ready to go. And I have a pile of Woodland Scenic LEDs here, and I'm going to just start plugging them in. And in this case, what I have here is uh, alternating flashing. So you can see that I have two adjacent pins, and they're alternate flashing. So all of the special effects from those boards that you used to buy for $10 to $15, uh, all of that's built into one hand controller. So check out our website. There's more information there. Um, it's the LED Scene Controller 2 from Model Train Technology.